Yo, what is up guys? Jack here and I am back with episode 10 of the Portsmouth Road to Glory series. If you do enjoy it as always, slap a like on this video and subscribe if you are new around here. But first things first, we look at the injury list. Joshua Emmanuel and Animo Lookman both out for another three months. Obviously last episode wasn't the best for us, two draws on the trot. We're hoping to look to rectify that in this game against Mansfield Town. Now, I have put up on my Twitter, if you don't follow me on Twitter, make sure you do description uh, in the description down below, uh, at Jack95Gamer. Um, I did send out a poll of what career mode you want after this season ends. Do you want the West Ham Season 2, the Portsmouth Season 2, or a Borussia Dortmund Season 1? So, if you want to vote, and obviously it does make a difference, there's only about 30 votes, uh, about, uh, sorry, 30 votes, about 23 votes as I'm recording this. So, if you want to go check that out and make a difference in what career mode you really want to see, then make sure you hit a like on this video. And also, Go over to the poll and show your support for the series you want to see next. Uh, do you want to see Portsmouth in League One? Or do you want to see West Ham United continuing their Barclays Premier League campaign in Season 2? Um, or if you, if, if you want to see Borussia Dortmund. But I, I, I will say now, it is incredibly close between Portsmouth and West Ham at the moment. So I'd probably say your vote would mean more voting for one of them two teams. But um, we're going to this game here. And Jensen in there, can I just say is a stunning goalkeeper. He used to play for Burnley, known as the Beast, and he really did prove it into this game today. We get a number of opportunities in the opening uh, 10 minutes here. Lalikovic gets an opportunity, does go wide off the mark. Something seems wrong with Portsmouth at the moment. We just can't seem to find the net, which is really, really disappointing for us, if I'm being completely honest here. As Chaplin gets away from his man, he shoots. Jensen holds on to keep the game at nil-nil. I'm getting really frustrated with the team at the moment. Chaplin plays it into Dozel. Dozel turns away from his man. He shoots. Jensen again pops up with another good save to keep the game at nil-nil. Rather frustrating times here for Pompey, but it would come forward again. Give the ball away to Benin, though, and Mansfield will have an opportunity. As Green lays it off into the path of Maguire. His shot, though, goes way over over the bar on this occasion. Getting into the last five minutes of the half here, Bennett takes on the defender, takes it on to get past three players. It falls to Linganzi. He's through on goal. Surely that's 1-0. Jensen pops up with an incredible save to keep the game at 0-0. He really is a beast. As Chaplin links up with Dozel. He's got through the gap here. It's Chaplin. That is a poor attempt of a chip, if I'm being completely honest here. And we're going at half-time at 0-0. One shot for Mansfield, seven for Pompey. The away team are dominating here today, but we just can't seem to find the breakthrough that we are looking for, which is rather disappointing, but such is life. That is why football is the most enjoyable game in the world, the most unpredictable sport in the world too. As Collins gets onto the ball here, Mansfield have an opportunity. It's green with the effort into the side netting, though, from him on this occasion. As Rose gets onto the ball here now, what can Mansfield do? Gets away from his man. His shot is blocked. It falls back into Green, who lays it off into the path of Collins. Back into Green. That really should have been 1-0 there. I don't know how he missed that. As we're getting a bit desperate now, Kyle Baker, Ben Close, and Michael Smith all come onto the pitch now to try and make a difference in this game. Chaplin dodges a challenge as we get into a great position here. It's Connor Chaplin trying to make it 1-0. Cuts back inside. The defender's all around him. Does play it inside to Ben Close. Ben Close turns away. Finds a Smith. Smith turns away. His shot is scrambled by Jensen. And we do... Um, not find the back of net there. We're still trying those. Rose wins the header. Smith wins it back. Back into the captain. Close finds the ball. Into the path of Baker. 1-0 to Pompey. We have 15 minutes left to go. That really could be an important goal here for the Blues. Obviously, we go through on goal here. We haven't had a win in around about three games now. So... This goal is really important for us. It really is for the grand scheme of things. Baker, first time effort too. Jensen's not going to be stopping that one into the bottom corner. I'm really am pleased with that effort from him there. Kyle Baker, four goals in League Two. And it, it is his final season. He's retiring at the end of the year. But my word, he really is having a go at it, isn't he? As Clements gets onto the ball now, does find Hurst. His shot is blocked here. And the ball comes back into his path. He shoots. Mason now saves. Clark clears it away. Rose eventually clears his lines. As um, Pompey come forward again. Does fall into Baker. Baker plays it into Chaplin. Chaplin through on goal here. Oh, close, sorry. He misses it. And again, he misses the rebound. Five minutes left to go. The last kick of the game does fall to Mansfield. It's a dangerous free kick in from Benning. Cleared away by Mason now. Hits the crossbar, actually. And Bennett puts the rebound into the back of the net. And my word... My word, that is just the luck of Portsmouth at the moment, if I'm being completely honest here. The game at 1-1, I'm frustrated. I really am. I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't. I thought we had this game wrapped up. Mayshanel caught in no man's land. Don't know what the hell he was thinking, but the game finishes at 1-1. Mansfield have their lifeline, and I'm absolutely... 
I'm devastated. That's two points dropped here in a game that I thought we dominated, a game that I thought we was comfortable in, a game that we had more clear-cut opportunities, but we just couldn't find the breakthrough, and that seems to be the problem for Portsmouth at the moment. Close takes on man and match with an 8.6 rating. Congratulations to him, but in the grand scheme of things, today's a failure. We should have got three points and continued our rise uh, up the top of the table in League 2, so I'm disappointed to say the least, but... Like I said, that's football. That is why it's the most unpredictable game in the world. That is why everyone loves it. I've said that before. And, you know, we'll, we'll go again. But then we lose in the FA Cup against Jovo. A 2-1 defeat against the League One outfit. Talbot got a goal, but we do obviously get bettered by this side. Actually, I believe they're actually a League Two team, Jovo, actually. So, sorry about that. Um, X and now comes into our next game in League Two. We're on a really bad run of form recently. Uh, I'm not happy with how the team's playing. Um, should I change it up? I don't know. I, I, I do honestly believe this is the best team on paper, but we're not getting goals. And Chaplin's our best striker. Bellet and Lalikovic are our best wingers, to be fair uh, to them. Miete maybe can come in and maybe make a difference. I'm not too sure if I'm being completely honest here. So we do go into a game against Exeter City, a team that we have beaten before, I do believe. So I'm confident. I really am. But we're at home in front of the Fratton Park faithful. So surely... This should be a win for us and end this horrible drought that we're in. As Lalikovic gets onto the ball here. 11 minutes into the game, crosses it into the middle. It's safe from the goalkeeper and cleared away. But Exeter will come forward now with their own attack. Holmes plays the ball into Reed. Reed turns away for his man. Uh, he looks to play it inside. He actually keeps onto the ball. He shoots. And Mason has to make a brilliant reflex save there to keep them at bay. Uh, 20 minutes into the game, the caller does come in from Exeter. Cleared away eventually by Bennett. And uh, only as far as James. James puts the ball down. Bram wins it into Reed. Reed shoots, and it just goes wide of the mark there. Good effort from Exeter, who have started the game um, rather convincingly. As Dozel comes forward here, the set attacking midfielder plays it to Lalikovic. He's got space here. It's Lalikovic. It's straight at the goalkeeper. Not what you want from one of your forwards. As Bennett comes forward here yet again, Linganzi gets onto the ball. Does play it inside to Connor Chaplin. Turns away. This is Connor Chaplin territory, but again... As always, the way our luck's going at the moment, he does miss. As Grant comes forward now, X are trying to get onto the ball here. Does fall to Butterfield. Butterfield holds the play up beautifully, crosses it in. That's deep. It does find Reed at the back post and into the side at netting. But Reed will come forward yet again. He's been a danger man for Exeter at the moment. Plays it inside to James. Back into Reed. First time effort into the top corner. That is an absolute rocket. And Pompey find themselves 1 0 down. A rare occurrence this season in League Two. I believe we've only found ourselves. Maybe a handful of times down by a goal in the league. So this is a really good occasion for Exeter. Can they hold on here? That's a bullet into the top corner. No way Mason is going to save that. And we're going at half time. Pompey have on paper looked the better team. But on paper doesn't matter. It's this little stat you see at the top of your screen. 1-0 to Exeter. Pompey need a goal. And it wouldn't take until the 70 minute for the first bit of action in the second half. Exeter have parked the bus here. Rose gets onto the ball. It's Danny Rose, the captain, trying to, you know, architect a way into this box. Gareth Evans gets into the ball. Plays it. Dozel! 1-1. Pompey have the goal. Andre Dozel pops up with an important goal here. And, you know, my word, what a player he is. He's got the ball here. Rose, you know, unselfishly gives it to uh, Evans. He could shoot from there. He decides to give it to Dozel. First time effort past the keeper. We get ourselves back into this game at 1-1. It really is a good effort there from Dozel. If I'm being completely honest here. Keeper out of his reach and tucked into the bottom corner. And Andre Dozel, like I said, has been one of our best players. As Marcus Edwards, Carl Baker and Lewis Allen, our youth academy right winger, comes onto the pitch now. Allen links up with Chaplin, plays it into Rose. Rose tries to get the ball and it falls back to Connor Chaplin. Chaplin does find Edwards. Marcus Edwards, man on loan from Tottenham, gets away from his man, shoots straight at the goalkeeper there. The game would come to an end and it is another draw, believe it or not. Rather frustrating stuff for Pompey here. That is four games on the trot that we have drawn in the league. And that means, obviously, in the grand scheme of things, that is eight points dropped, which I'm absolutely fuming about. Um, and we'll see the league table at the end of this episode. Dozel takes home man of the match, which I'm absolutely delighted about. And um, now, without him, we'd have lost today. It would have been our first loss in the league, which would have been very hard to take, if I'm being completely honest here. But as you can see, uh, Connor Chaplin, Robinson Lee, Gallo and Morgan all go into training here. And um, we have a look at the league table. And guys, if you are enjoying today's video and you did enjoy it, let's please leave a like on this video. We are nine points clear. We could be more than that. Even more than that. We could be run away with this league at the moment if we picked up wins. But guys, subscribe if you are new around here. But don't forget to go to Twitter and vote in the poll for my next career mode after this season. Uh, it really, your vote does count. And as always, have a really nice day. Subscribe and like. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.